Hey guys, happy new year! Ah! We in 2021, y'all! We made it! We made it! Corona free! <laughs> we here, you guys. I'm so happy that we're alive, okay? Most importantly, that we're alive. First and foremost, you guys. I'm so happy you guys are here with me. We're alive. We're healthy. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna waste you guys this time. You guys already know what time it is. If you're new here, I'm Avril. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Join the family if you wanna be in the skincare squad. In 2021, you don't wanna be watching from outside of the room. You wanna be in the room with us. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and join the family. Oh, you guys, today's video is gonna be all about you guys. And I'm so happy that you guys are interested in like everything I'm interested in you guys are my people and I'm so happy that we get to share this amazing information with each other balance ideas off of each other it's just such a cool experience and I'm happy that you guys motivate me and make me want to be here every day every time I sit on a film video is because of you guys so thank you thank you thank you all right without further ado let's get into today's video so this video I'm gonna be answering questions I asked you guys to ask me a bunch of questions on my community page a few of you sent me questions so I'm gonna answer those. I'm also gonna answer some of my Instagram DMs as well that I just have never responded to before. <laughs> if you see your question on here, just know that I see them. I just, one thing about me is I don't like to half ass anything. I always say like I'm gonna get to a question and then I just get so caught up in my life and everything else that happens. But anyways, starting off with the first question here, it's by Anja. Anja wants to know, I do have a question about pH levels. If I use an acid like lactic acid serum, which has a pH of 3.8, and I want to use an acinamide or copper peptide serum after it which don't like pH levels which don't like low pH levels is it enough to buffer between which it, which with the toner to change the pH on your skin okay this question was a little confusing I wasn't too sure what exactly she was asking but Anja what I'm understanding is that you're asking if basically if you use a um, acid product is it okay to use like an acinamide which is a vitamin that is more on the alkaline side is it okay to use that to change the pH of your skin and what I will tell you is that when it comes to the way that skincare products are applied so from your acids all the way to your sunscreen or moisturizer depending on whether it's a morning or nighttime routine those products are set that way or that sort of uh, sequence is set that way because of the pH. Most of the times acid products are acidic and then as you work your way up up until you get to your moisturizer those products are already formulated to your skin pH. So if you're doing an extra routine I wouldn't worry too much whether or not your niacinamide will buffer back your skin pH. Just worry more so about like using the products in the right order so that way you know for sure your skin no matter what will come back to your skin natural pH of 5.5. Alright moving on to the next question. Emma asked your recommendation for beauty slash cosmetic chemistry podcasts and books oh i love that you want to know this answer um if you watch my video on my formulation secrets questions i talked about wanting to talk about my favorite podcast with you guys i'm so happy that you guys actually want to know this information as far as podcasts a video is coming i'm so happy that you guys want to know this so just wait for it it's coming it might have already been up at this point because it's already filmed just i know when it'll be up but um yeah definitely definitely coming for you guys as far as books i I think I've read not that many books. I'm more of like a podcast girl, but I have read this one. Oops, where is it? <laughs> I have read this one called Skin Rolls. It's by a dermatologist and I actually posted this on my story one I forget when but I posted this not so long ago and someone actually read it and said they really really enjoyed it and I loved this book it was such a great quick read very short I think it's about 200 pages long a very short book but definitely hits all of the nails on the head when it comes to like basic skincare and understanding the basis of skincare okay moving on to the next question just trying, trying to rapid fire through these questions anna acosta asks how did you become a cosmetic chemist okay so not going into like a long-winded answer for this one i used to be a pharmacy student and i pivoted into becoming a cosmetic chemist i already had a degree in chemistry so after pharmacy school didn't work out for me which i have a video all about that it's up here if you want to check it out i pivoted to becoming a chemist i um was already in love with skincare and makeup and I was like why can't I make these products since I already have a chemistry background so I applied for a job and thankfully I landed this position and I have been in love ever since all right moving into some um, Instagram questions questions okay so I probably do like three of these questions there's so many but I'm just gonna pick the first few that I think 
you guys would benefit from. Matten asks, I'm studying pre-chemistry, bachelor's degree. I'm interested in cosmetic chemistry and nutrition just like you and I'm really lost about what major to choose my master's and I wanted to ask you to help me. Okay, so if you want to do a master's because you want to do a master's, then go for it and I would suggest just doing something in the science field. Doesn't matter whether it's chemistry or physics. I have people that I work with that have physics degrees, actual cosmetic chemistry degrees, cosmetic engineering degrees, or chemical engineering degrees. Um, so master's is not mandatory to get a job in this field but if you want to do that definitely you know go for it but you just having a bachelor's in science I think is great to start you know getting your leg in the industry and starting to get experience okay next question is by a girl and boy cell she asks hi April I'm here from a YouTube channel thank you for sharing tips on becoming a cosmetic engineer I'm interested in this field and wish to pursue it in the future in one of your videos you claim to work from 6 to 2 and it's just one and I was just wondering if you continue your job at home often I'm scared to have my job take up so much of my time and keep me away from other things. I hope you respond. Oh, you're so sweet. Of course I'll respond. Okay, so yes, I do work from 6 to 2 p.m. 2.30, but yeah, I work I work till 2-ish. And I love, love, love my schedule. It gives me so much time to do other things like modeling, which I also do full-time pretty much at this point. Um, and it's just a great way for me to balance both of my lifestyles and still have time to do other things aside from modeling and, you know, working. Um, I love my schedule. I don't know what your exact um, specifications are as far as like time that you're wanting for work but this schedule is amazing and I love it as far as other like chemist jobs like being a QA chemist those people work even like overnight so that way they have all their mornings to themselves it really depends on what you're looking for but I never find that this this time takes me away from anything I mean I also do, do like YouTube which is like a freaking full-time commitment so yeah, I mean, I love my schedule and um, if this is what you're looking for, you can definitely find a schedule like this one. All right, last question here. It's from a girl called Lauren Little. Hi, Lauren. Um, she says, sis, I need your help. I have bad hyperpigmentation. I just purchased vitamin C oil and Dr. Broner's unscented Kesto soap. Is there anything else I could use, like anything from the ordinary? I need help. So basically, when I see hyperpigmentation for dark skin, I immediately think retinoids. You guys, retinoids save my freaking life. Like, retinoids are everything everything honey like before retinoids I was just like wasting money like I literally have like kojic acid licorice acid azelaic acid all those are like more for maintenance purposes those are for like maintaining your already treated skin if you want to see results and, it's, and I'm telling you like real results you want to go to your dermatologist and get like an actual retinoid retinoid prescription and then uh, from there you know start maintaining with things like azelaic acid and then I think the ordinary has like retinol uh, 0.2 to 1% start slow and then work your way up and then you can also do things professionally like chemical peels a micro needling radio frequency I mean there's so much so much you can do but first and foremost for hyperpigmentation on dark skin definitely trip knowing like hands down but yeah that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here this new year I hope we can achieve all of our goals this year I'm rooting for us. I know we're going to kill it. I'm so happy to bring you guys so much more content this new year. Please leave below in the comments below what you'd like to see from me this year. I am so open to suggestions and cannot wait to see what you guys um, want to see from me. And also, what are your new year goals? What goals do you have for the new year? What do you want to do this new year? Do you want to travel somewhere? Do you want to learn a skill? What is it that you're wanting to do this new year? Want to know? Share with me and let's talk about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for being here again. I'll see you guys in my next video.